In this video, I'm going to share with you my three favorite Canva apps for editing images and how you can use them to level up your designs. Let's go. The first app I'm going to share with you is called Blend, and I'm going to show how this app works. For that, you just need two images because this app blends two images together in a very nice new image. So it's very cool for you to level up your design, your images for some design projects you have. So first of all, you go here to apps and search for blend. This is the one, blend image. You click on it. What we're going to do is for the bottom layer, we are going to select one image and click on you selected image. And then for the top layer, you need to have another image selected. You can also upload your images, okay? And now you already see here the blending, what happened here. It blended them together. That's my favorite blend mode overlay, but you can change them and test to see what you like the most. Sometimes you probably will like something lighter like this, depending on the project you're working, or soft light. This looks super cool as well, because now the focus goes to the woman and not to the city. Uh, you can test and see which one blends better and which one fits to your design the most. When you're done, I'm gonna choose the overlay. Just click on add to design and this new image is going to be added to your design, as you can see, which is super cool. It's a nice effect that you can create. We have in Canva for free. The second app I'm bringing today is the Image Blender. This is another app for free in Canva, and I'll show you what it does. I have these two images here. First, we go to Apps, and we search for Image Blender. Now take this one, it has some pro options into it, but I don't really use them. I really like these two options. You first have to select an image you want to blend. And let's work with the radio first. And here you can even change the strength of the blending. And when you're done, just click on save. And this is this kind of nice effect that you give to the image that it is blended. If you're working on a social media post, sometimes you need to write something below the image and you need some blending so that the text appears, you know? So this is super useful for different situations, but I think especially for social media, I like using that. And the let's test the other tool within this um, app, which is the linear. This is also super nice. You can control here the strength of the blending and you can also control the direction of the blending. So I'm just going to choose like this one, very centered. When you're done, click on save. And that's what you get. Let me just put an example of text there very quickly. So you get what I mean. So sometimes you see this, probably you've seen this on Instagram. Imagine this is an Instagram post. So now you can read the text. That's a beautiful post. And if you have just the image, and if you have the text there, you cannot read it, not in this color. And sometimes, even if you put it in white, it's not the color of your brand, or it's not how you wanted it to look. That's why this kind of blending can be very helpful. And the third app I wanted to share with you is pretty new. It's called light lab and it helps you kind of giving a different light effects to your images we're going to test in these three images and this is a pro app so if you don't have a pro account you can test 30 days for free using the link i have in my profile you can check it out so here again you just go to apps and this is the first app actually that is showing uh, because it's super new but if it is not showing for you just type uh, light lab and that is this one here so to work on it you first have to select the image you want to work on and here there are different presets that you can select and then adjust according to your needs i like 
this one here. So let's try it out. So as you can see, it gives some different lightening and you can even change how the lightening is positioned so you can create the effect. You can change the colors as well if you don't like. Let me see, you just have, or you can add the third light, for instance. Here you can change, leave it like this. That's kind of cool, I think. And the effects are very interesting, especially for social media, if you want to add some of your brand colors to the images. When you're done, just click on Save. And that's it. Then you're going to have this image edited in the lightning that you selected. Let's just work with a different effect so you can see how it works. In this image, let me choose a different one. This one is pretty cool. Let's see what it does here. Oh, as you can see, it really changes like the... It puts, you can put the lightning on the model. That's super nice. I really like it already, but this is something that you can see. You can test and adapt to your needs. Let's just add a different effect to this one now. Let me see. Oh, let's check the first one. So you can see it changes completely the image and you can position the lightning as you wish. I think this is super cool and helpful, especially if you need to change some color of the lightnings for your branding. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Let me know in the comments which of these apps you've tested and how it went for you. See you in the next video.